Good morning, everyone. If you take your seats, we'll get started. I have the easy job today. I'm just moderating. <laughs> As president of the Aging in New York's Funds Board of Directors, I welcome you to our educational forum on healthcare reform and aging connections. The fund is the philanthropic arm of the Department for the Aging and is dedicated to enhancing the quality of life of older New Yorkers and their families. The mission of the Aging in New York Fund is to develop a unique public-private partnerships and to incubate programs that give seniors more opportunities to age in place and live more connected, more vibrant and healthy lives. Also to fill critical gaps in the aging services network and to provide fiscal and administrative support to other New York City nonprofits in their efforts to offer essential services to seniors. I'd like to welcome DIFTA's partners who are here today in the audience, the senior network providers, the policy makers, the grant makers, and members of New York City's senior community. I'd like to also highlight the forum sponsors, our corporate leader, Emblem Health, as well as United Healthcare, Jeffrey Sobel Consulting, and the Benefit RAP program. We appreciate your support and thank you for investing in this important issue. And I'd also like to thank one of our board members, Jackie Monk, who was able to um, allow us to use this beautiful venue this morning. Um, who is, she's a, a corporate executive at time, so thank you. Seniors make up New York City's most rapidly growing population group with 1.4 million city residents age 60 and over. I'd like to give you just a few examples of the ways in which DIFTA and many of our creative and energetic not-for-profit partners help seniors live stimulating and satisfying lives. Our senior centers and NORCs carry out evidence-based and other health and physical fitness programs to help thousands of older New Yorkers maintain strong bodies and active minds, achieve good mental health, and successfully manage whatever chronic conditions they are dealing with. We provide education on issues such as nutrition education, promoting diets, nutritious diets, all crucial to living overall good health and a healthy life. We offer benefits and entitlement counseling to make sure that seniors access the wealth of benefits that they may be eligible for, a very important endeavor in a city where according to the Center on Economic Opportunity, 44% of older New Yorkers live below 150% of the poverty level. DIFTA assists 10,000 caregivers each year, providing counseling, respite, and other valuable resources. We offer case management assistance to 21,000 older New Yorkers, and we deliver a hot meal to many of them each weekday, and with our valuable partner, City Meals on Wheels, on weekends as well. We provide home care to 3,000 case management clients who are just above the Medicaid eligibility level, but still in need of great help. <clears throat> we bolster this work with many other supportive services ranging from elder abuse programs and legal services to prevent housing eviction. DIFTA has expanded a great deal of energy in the last few years learning about the changing landscape of the healthcare environment in New York State. It is not surprising that one of the key issues that we learned from this endeavor is the knowledge that there is a significant crossover between DIFTA's service recipients and those of managed long-term care programs. For example, last year we conducted a study of our senior center participants and found that between one quarter and one third of them are already enrolled in managed long-term care programs or would qualify based on managed long-term care eligibility criteria. 
With the help this morning of our panel of experts, we will hear many ideas for how to bring together the world of healthcare and our world of aging services to better promote the health and well being of older New Yorkers. Today, we will focus especially, though not exclusively, on the nearly one third of New Yorkers aged 60 and over who are enrolled in Medicaid, with a substantial additional number eligible to enroll. We will use the Federal Affordable Care Act and Governor Cuomo's Medicaid redesign reform as points of departure to discuss how best to navigate a complicated and rapidly evolving healthcare landscape to promote synergies and linkages between our senior provider network and those of managed care. This will include two very important groups of seniors, those who are in need of long-term care services so that they can remain in the community and preventive efforts to help sustain older New Yorkers remain in good health. A modest investment by managed long-term care companies in preventive and supportive services currently offered by the DIFTA network will reap benefits for older people to maintain vital and productive lives. And we can do this cost effectively by preventing or postponing conditions that lead to costly hospitalizations and nursing home stays. This is the shared goal of both managed long-term care and the DIFTA provider network. This morning, we will learn how to build those bridges. Before I get to our keynote speaker and introduce her, I'd like to acknowledge our distinguished panel of presenters. Catherine Hasslinger is the executive director of JASA, who will present this morning on caring and managing aging services and managed care. Dr. Nisha Rigwani is a gerontologist at Mount Sinai Hospital's Geriatric and Adult De Developmental Center, and she will discuss service gaps for our elderly population. And Dan Schur, Senior Director of Government Programs from Emblem Health, who will present on operationalizing the vision for serving the frail, elderly, and disabled. 